NASA's Juno spacecraft is about to arrive at Jupiter. To commemorate the occasion, I made some Jupiter and Juno nail art. Here's how you can recreate my Juno orbital insertion nail art yourself. Start with a base coat to help your nail art last. Depending on how opaque your nail polish is, you may want to put on a first coat of polish. I also like to do this because it helps me remember which design I'm putting on which nail. I'll be showing you five different designs in this video. You might plan to do just one design or do different designs on different fingers from what I do. So paint accordingly. I will need custom made decals for two of my designs. To make these, I'm using a transparent silicone mat that I found at a craft supply store. I'll be tracing the Juno insignia which I found online, sized to fit my nail, printed out on regular printer paper, and placed underneath the silicone. Using dotting tools and a small brush, carefully trace the insignia. Don't worry about making your circle perfect here. You're going to cut around the edges anyway. You could also do without the circle altogether, paint your whole nail black, and just add the white part as a decal. Looks pretty good. Next, I'm going to make a Jupiter decal. I made two Juno insignias so I could have one for each thumb, but I'm going to be cutting Jupiter in half, so I only really need one. Start by painting a circle with a beige polish on the silicone. Then, prepare a palette of colors to fill in your Jupiter with. I have a light beige, a slightly darker beige, white, and a rusty red. Re-wet your Jupiter, then just take a very small brush and make it stripey. Don't worry about the edges, we'll be cutting them off. Jupiter is made mostly of gases, so its features are very fluid. Just drag your small brush back and forth. You can look at a picture of Jupiter for inspiration. Add a great red spot if you like, and if you want to get really detailed, Jupiter has lots of little swirly features if you look closely. You can add these in very carefully if you like, but act quick before the polish gets too dry. Finally, add a quick dry top coat to the Juno, Mission Insignias, and Jupiter. Now we'll let them dry and return to our nail. We'll need a small paintbrush and large dotting tool for our first design. Put a fresh coat of black nail polish on your nail. My polish is actually opaque enough that I don't need two coats. If yours is two and you only want to do one coat, that's fine, but keep in mind that adding the dots works best if the black polish is still wet. Add a large white dot with your dotting tool, and then four small dots with your small brush. I find a brush works best for really small dots, but you could also use a small dotting tool. If you've ever looked at Jupiter through a telescope, you know you can usually see its four largest moons in a line with Jupiter. Every night they're in a different arrangement, and sometimes some moons are behind or in front of Jupiter. So on your nail, you can put them in any order you like, or use fewer if you can't fit them all on your nail. You could also paint one of them transiting across Jupiter. Next, we'll do Jupiter and Juno. Paint a fresh coat of beige because again, this will work best if the base color polish is wet. Prepare a palette just like we did to make the Jupiter decal. Then basically do the same thing you did to make your Jupiter decal. Paint fluid, stripey features across your nail. It can get a bit messy, so use a cotton swab or brush with acetone on it to remove any polish that gets on your skin. I recommend adding a layer of quick dry top coat before adding Juno. For Juno, use a medium-sized dotting tool to make a black dot, and a small brush to add Juno solar panels. If you want to be really exact, acrylic paint might make it easier to get straight edges, or you could use tape to get really straight edges. Hopefully your decals are dry now. Check by carefully peeling them back with tweezers. If not dry, press it back flat and let it dry some more. Otherwise, remove all the way from the silicone, peeling slowly and carefully so you don't rip them. Then cut off the excess clear top coat and refine the edges. You can cut out your decals with sharp scissors. The smaller they are, the easier it is. You can paint on stars, but I think glitter works best. A lot of white glitters that you find at craft stores is actually transparent, but if you can find really fine, actually white glitter, it makes perfect stars. 
Paint a fresh coat of black paint and sprinkle on a little bit of glitter. The fresh coat of paint is important so that both the glitter and the decal stick. Use a pair of tweezers to carefully place your Jupiter decal, then gently press it on. I used my finger, but I really should have used a tool to do this. An orange stick would be a great idea. But if you do mess up like I did, just cover it with a bit more polish. If you have some excess decal hanging off your nail, use either tiny scissors or cuticle clippers to cut it off. Don't worry about making it perfect. You can use a brush with acetone to do that. Finally, add top coat to seal everything in, but maybe wait a little longer than I did so it's more dry and doesn't smear. Now I'll be painting Juno in space on my pinky. Add stars just like on the last nail, then use a dotting tool and small paintbrush to paint Juno the same way you did on the Jupiter with Juno nail. I'm using a metallic bronze polish to make Juno, but just about any metallic polish should do the trick. Or, you know, lime green, it's your nail art. Finally, I'm putting the Jupiter Mission Insignia on my thumb. I painted a pearly iridescent white on top of my bottom coat of white, just for fun. You could really use whatever colors you want for this. Pick up your decal with tweezers and apply it in the middle of the thumb. Again, it's best to use something other than your finger to press down the decal. Add quick dry top coat to seal everything in. To finish, make sure every nail has a protective quick dry top coat so your designs are well protected and really shiny. Clean up anywhere you need to, and that's it! Enjoy your awesome Jupiter and Juno nails!